going on everybody? I'm um, just putting together a quick video for some adjustments and updates I made to um, a Festool TV2 open the top toolbox. Um, I actually made this little uh, insert, this wooden insert for another toolbox, but I want to take you through um, this whole setup. I basically locked out in the sense that this fit in perfectly, so it's crazy how that worked out, but um, obviously you could build one to fit. It's, uh, show you a couple little design features I kind of lucked into and you can decide whether or not you want to use the same thing uh, going forward. So um, this is, uh, uh, you know, tools that I use the most frequently and always want uh, really easy access to. Um, so I'll take you through the tools I have in here and the setup, uh, but I'll start on the outside so I can clear away some of the, the other tools and other bags so you can kind of get a better view. So um, on the outside, we just have like a cheap pouch, flips over and clips into your belt. Um, so it has a little magnetic wristband in there. This is a little monster hook, it clips on, clips off to the belt. I just cut a little hole, see if you can see it, in the uh, sustainer itself. So that clips on, obviously you can hold whatever you want. You can take it off, put it on your belt, holds rolls of tape really nicely. Uh, right here we have a dust brush with a neodymium magnet. Obviously you can put whatever you want on that magnet. It doesn't just have to be the dust brush. Um, but Then on the side, I modified the box to allow um, my Makita subcompact um, drill and driver to fit. This can also be put inside the box if you don't want them hanging off the side, but so far this setup is pretty, seems to be pretty durable and they don't fall off. The way I got these to work was by modifying the sides of the box. So turn off my light, see if you can see it a bit better without the light. Um, so yeah, on the side of the box, I just uh, modified the cutout. Hopefully you can see the shape there. Um, I don't know if this helps, but so I just cut out that piece of the side. Um, I just did it with a jigsaw and then just softened the edges with a rotary tool, a little uh, whatever they're called. Same on the other side. So they go in nice and easily. And then I have a large, uh, it's actually a small uh, vacuum. So I actually use this a ton. It's super nice to have it, convenient. Also, there's a uh, attachment with a floor attachment as well, which is in here. Really nice for really quick, quick little site cleanups. Because it's so easy to deploy and to use, I end up keeping a much cleaner work site. So this thing has actually been pretty invaluable, so that's why it rides in my primary box. Um, where the nose of the, uh, the vacuum goes is actually just a couple of clear cups, which I use for holding fasteners or a little touch-up paint or some solvents or whatever, useful to have around, so they sit right in there. And then the nose of the vacuum goes in. Cleaning nozzle. We also have another small tool pouch, which uh, I tend to wear every day, but it can ride in here gloves. On this side we have a small, really crappy, really cheap hammer. Uh, it's obviously not a hammer I'm doing any real work with, but um, it does the job uh, for pro basic simple prying and, and hammering. Uh, hammering job is really light. I even shortened it more. And there's a small neodymium magnet as well that's attached on the inside. It's just a sh really short modified screw. And then I shortened it so it doesn't stick out the back, and then it's just some, some glue as well, some CP, uh, CP20 um, to glue the magnet on. But the nice thing there is the hammer rides in the same spot, but super easy to get to. Super idiot proof, it can actually ride really easily on the outside, but it has some mag magnetism. Um, I can also ride other tools on there. I cut a little slot right here. So, again, This is um, to hold the, the, what's it called, the vacuum. It's just an old Tupperware top. It's not perfect, I'll probably make something better, but this for now works pretty well as a holster. Keep it in place. Um, and then let's get to the rest of the toolbox. I have just a small square, cut a little slot in the little slots that are already there. So I got a square. On the other side, we've got 
Five in one tool, pliers, pliers, jammed into the side. You can kind of see there's a little bit of space available on the side. That just kind of happened per luck. I'm not sure if it's good or not, but the nice thing is I can slip stuff into the little side pieces. So we got just a simple metal file. And then moving our way through, obviously screwdrivers. Small pry tool, loaded spring punch, uh, adjustable wrench, job site scissors, heavy duty scissors, an all slash poking tool. Then we have our cutting tool, so they're organized by, by use. So these three are all cutting tools. So we have just a regular wire cutter, mini bolt cutters, which I use all the time to shorten bolts and do heavier cutting tasks. And then we have a um, flush cut going. Hey, just so you're aware, we had another accident. It didn't just have peed all over the floor. So we need to be reminding her like all the time. So getting back to it, we, um, just a little carabiner, I'm not really sure why that's there. A couple punches, spring-loaded punches, remove door pins, nail set. Small cat's paw pry tool, have a, just a long poking tool, which is, you know, comes in handy. Torpedo level, and then if we come around this side, I have another magnet mounted on the inside right here. On the outside I have my stud finder. Obviously you could put any other tool there, but stuck on the inside. Small set of Allen keys. And then now that we have everything out, you can see the, the low quality production value of this little insert. Um, really crappy, it's just some old 3 8 plywood I had floating around it's just glued and nailed in there it's pretty bad but right now it's working and you know obviously you can do a much nicer one as you see fit but really simple just some little supports to keep it a little more structured just a small piece of maple to hold the, uh, the other screwdrivers upright and you can obviously modify it to the needs of your tools um, realistically if this thing ends up working out well and stays working well I'm not gonna mess with it too much but um you know, we'll see. <laughs> right now it's, uh, it seems to be doing great, so I'm not going to change it too much. Um, at this point, feel, uh, feel free to stop the video. I'm just going to reload everything so you can see how quickly it gets loaded back in, which is, I don't know, probably one of the biggest advantages of this whole setup. Um, it's really designed to be super quick to access your tools, take them in, take them out. So I'm going uh, to reload it right now, but again, feel free to stop the video, see how long it takes. So that took a, mm, I don't know, minute and a half, um, which uh, all things considered is pretty quick. <laughs> so anyways, hopefully that helps. Hopefully you guys can um, 
take advantage of, uh, of my trial and error and my general nerd, uh, nerd nature around this stuff. So um, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys uh, checking in and obviously any feedbacks and uh, ways to upgrade and make things work better always appreciated. So see you later.